Hey, good afternoon and welcome to The Planet. I'm Chris Fern. And I'm Laurie Leahy and we are from TTPN. And today we have a very special guest. <laughs> Meredith Sinclair has joined us because we're doing games and we need we need another warm body. Don't you like being called a warm yeah, body? Yeah, I'm stuck in the middle. Of a little so it's, it's April 25th. How was your Easter? Fantastic and full of fun and candy. And lots of candy. Good. Everybody's hyped up good. on sugar. So Still. that's good. I, you know, my, my brother once ate his entire Easter basket before breakfast oh. and was insufferable the rest of the day. So it was re really <laughs> kind of fun. Mom, so good. we're talking games today. Yes. Games, great springtime, great family kinds of activity. Lori, take us through it. What do we got? We're starting with Disney Junior Guess Who from Hasbro. And it's basically the classic game of Guess Who, only this time you can play either with Doc McStuffins characters, you can guess Jake and the Neverland Pirates, or Mickey Mouse Clubhouse characters, or there's a card where all the characters are on it together. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You know, Disney's gotten really good about that, letting the characters mix up together. They didn't used to ever exist, you know, acknowledge they were in the same <laughs> universe. Like so. The Twilight Zone. I know. Wow. So, so how do you play? You're basically asking yes or no questions. Um, each person has one of these boards, and this little lever over here, that's how you know what mystery character your opponent is trying to guess. So you always remember. Um, so you can do, even like Doc McStuffins, you can even guess some of the toys, her doctor's bag, and then you're just asking yes or no questions about the characters, you know. Our favorite in the review that we did was, is your uh, person a pretend doctor? And that's a pretty easy That's one. easy! So that's maybe easy. you wanna not ask that if you what? want a really short game. And this is for this is fourteen ninety nine from Hasbro for ages five and up. Yeah. You, you think there's some good learning stuff in this. Yeah, I mean anytime when you're when you're guessing, you know, it's that whole twenty questions deduction, you know, and like I'm a teacher so I always look at things for that. And memory, because are you flipping these as you go? Is that Yes. Okay. You know, if if you said, oh, you know, are you a doctor tool? If somebody said yes, well then you would leave open the stethoscope door but close, you know, the door on Doc's little brother. Got it. Um, so it's visual too. So yes. really right. So you mm -hmm. have to think and then translate that to this board. Yes. Right, Fun. Right. Which is really great. great. Yeah. Which is really great. Okay, so fourteen ninety nine, what's next? Okay, now we're doing um, Tetra, part of International Playthings Game Zone brand. And this is for just six and up. It's basically Yahtzee, but you don't have dice. <laughs> you're rolling these little four colored oh, yes. tetra pieces I, I like and you're making color combinations instead of number combinations. So when you when you roll them, I'm just going to move yeah. I'm going to move I'm going to move this away. Of course. So so we you, you roll it and then you get different ones landing up. Yeah, so right there you already have four of a kind. You could keep those and roll the other three. Oh, you have know. three rolls that you can do. I'm a genius, right? There we go. So, so <laughs> this is actually really neat. I love this for tactile stuff. So yeah, they have a great feel. And tactile is good for kids, right. right? Not only that, but I love that it's colors instead of numbers because mm -hmm. sometimes kids get intimidated by the number part of it, and right. if they don't feel like they're confident in their math skills, but they still want to play this type of game, it's fun exactly. that's translated into colors exactly. at any time. Exactly, because kids learn by doing. Right. Them, so they, they like love to touch and feel. Well. It's interesting that you brought up the math skills because I even think keeping score is a little bit easier than traditional Yahtzee. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you if you get four of a kind, you, know, you get four points. You're not having to count up how many fours, four times four, you know, mm -hmm. anything like that. It's a little bit simpler. That, I like for it. younger kids. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, right, it's a great first. Well, uh, especially first if, you're playing, if, you, if you don't have your glasses on and they roll those <laughs> dice and you go, what is that? What is that? It's also good for some <laughs> grown up things like, grown -ups, grown -ups as well. <laughs> Um, this is 1995 yes. from International Playthings, and it's, it's yes. real, I, I think, really cool. It is cool. Okay. Okay, so everybody's going to get a board for this next one. Yay. This is called What's It? It's from Peaceable Kingdom. Everybody gets a marker, and the object of this game, it's a cooperative game, so everybody's supposed to be no working copy. together to okay. try to beat the doodler. If we're cooperating, can we copy? <laughs> no. <laughs> but oh. actually... She's a teacher! You almost no. want to copy, no. because in this game, you want to get the same answer as the other players. Oh, so then copy. Okay. Right? So what we're doing is you roll the die and you land in a category. Our category is you eat it. We pick a picture and everybody has to write down three things of what they think this picture could be in terms of something that you would eat. Okay. okay. So, and you have to write down at least three because okay. you, you would lose points without. Sure. Sure. Oh, that's a good one though. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought. Still counts. Okay. Mm -mm. And you do have a timer. We're not using it obviously because we're just, you know, okay. whatever. Okay. Okay, so what what did you write down first, Chris? Butter. I had butter. All right, circle it. Everybody who had butter, circle I got butter. it. Woo! That was number one. Well, cheddar, cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. That's cheese. a good one. I did that. That's okay. Specific. Well, because I because the other one I was cream <laughs> cheese. <laughs> oh no! I didn't want to do that, that one. one. Okay. You want to take cool. mine? Yeah. Candy bar was my last one, but I had okay. the same as Chris on the other side. Okay, I didn't have candy. I also had bread and hot dog. 
What? So wait, wait. Well, it's in the, what you universe? Said cream cheese. Is this cream cheese because of the brick? In it's what universe is that a hot dog? <laughs> in my imagination. Okay. Anyway, so we have one, two, three, four. We have five okay. matches. All right. So because I'm three people had that. butter, we would put down three things on our little score. Pe because two people had cheese, we put two points for each player down on the score thing. Okay. And it basically, if we make the winner spot first before the doodler. Um, then we win. The doodler would get points for things that, that were missed. Not missed. Oh, yeah, we're exactly. playing against so. him. Oh, yeah. you know so what? That's actually competitive against you know, the match. It's competitive. Still, it, 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 there <laughs> isn't. You know, because we were talking about cooperative games and where everybody wins, there's no clear Everyone winner or loser. Yeah. And, right. Exactly. <laughs> and kids love the knowing where they are because then they want to try again. Yeah. They, they they hope to do it again. This is actually really really cute. It's cooperatively it competitive. For it's love. yeah. It's twenty four ninety nine. And please don't tell your children. That this is dog. a hot dog. <laughs> Sorry. I had to write down something. I was trying to do it quickly. We're okay, going to play against her next time. We're going to win. Yeah. Take your business <laughs> card. <laughs> this is a game from uh, um, from Patch Products called Odd Jobs, and it's sort of one of those like apples to apples things where a judge, which would be me, is picking a winner of different cards, and you take He's a judging. you know a, a job card. Don't here. judge me. Okay, you roll the die. I rolled a four. So I'm gonna say I keep finding piles of Jello in the woods behind my house. What can you do? And these guys have business cards. Oh. They've got to sell me on one of their businesses. Okay. Okay. Who can help me with the say Jello again, say behind my name. house? Okay. I keep finding piles of Jello in the woods behind my house. Okay. Well, I I am an I am an expert in Jello collection, uh, and I use it in my work on a daily basis. It mm -hmm. creates a lot of a lot of fun because my name is Chase M Ball, and I'm a rodeo clown. <laughs> Well, that's okay. That's All right. Now, I'm winning this. <laughs> See, I like competition. I grew up with two brothers. I'm all about competition. Yes. Okay? Older brothers. Okay, so you really, if you have piles of jello okay. in your yard, okay. then that is a clear sign that you need to get away because you're either losing your mind because you're seeing jello or. Your your yard is just a mess and you need a break. So you're yeah. gonna come to me because I'm Booker mm -hmm. Trip and I will get you the best like vacation to get away from your Jello. Right, yeah. and so you come I back. I want to go on a trip. <laughs> and by the time you come back, the Jello will have dissolved, so you're really all okay. <laughs> okay, so who wins? Well, then she would win because I would have picked the card. And she's only playing one round. And she wins. I'm a winner. Here's your token. Yay. You got two bucks. <laughs> okay, so we got some stuff to give away. We do. Yeah! Oh, oh. oh this is the new whack a mole, oh, which is -a really great. Oh, uh, some Sophia the First figures. Okay. Incoming! Oh, Jake in the Neverland Pirate Skate Park. Oh, I, I reviewed this on TTPM. TTPM. I really like this. This is great. Okay. okay. Oh, do I kind of talk Okay, yeah, through Incoming! Oh, I love this game too. Monopoly, Monopoly Empire. Empire. Oh, my boys love this. Okay. So, it's great games. Uh, to win this, you can. Lori! Okay, the <laughs> secret code word is draw, because we were drawing. So take that yeah. code word, go to TTPM, or click on the link above Meredith's head, and that will take you to the giveaway page where you'll enter the word draw, and you have until midnight Eastern time on Wednesday, April 30th, to try and win this great prize pack. And you told them to enter it on TTPM, on not TTPM. YouTube. Not YouTube! Okay, so, well that was a lot of fun. I know. Are you exhausted? <laughs> After eight minutes? Okay. You are now. So Meredith, thanks for dropping by to play with us today. We Absolutely. certainly appreciate it. Come visit us anytime at TTPM and we'll see you next week.